Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I'm 40 years old now and a recent retiree. Retiree. What does that mean? Well, I'll get to that in a bit. First, I want to say, good morning, folks, if you're reading this or seeing this, um, this will probably end up being posted on um, sooner than later. And I'm here to talk to you about how I feel about turning 40. It's been an interesting ride uh, getting to 40. I've seen a lot of people latch a lot of things onto 40 for good reason and and for bad reasons. And upon looking at such, I came to the realization, an interesting realization, that quite honestly, pretty sure I'm a grown ass man now. I am a grown ass man now. When you're in your 20s, you're just getting used to not being a teenager, you're being a young adult, and you're allowing yourself to just discover life as a young adult. Different, your viewpoint may be different from those who are older than you. They may have had it, but it doesn't matter. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, when you're 30, you realize that your 20s are done, done. You're 30 years old, and you start getting your life together now. You have about 10 years to do that. You can still have some of your 20s fun, but responsibly. But when you're 40, all that nonsense that you put up with and all that other stuff that happened when you're 20 and 30 no more at this point if you haven't figured it out yet or at least gotten your head on straight to that effect put it short you're screwing it up you gotta get your life together it's funny because um yesterday my dad spoke to me about it um he said what is 40 like he said 40 is full-fledged maturity now he was a singer back in nigeria who said 40 is like full-fledged maturity and i thought about that Sorry about that. I thought about that, and I was like saying, yeah, there's some truth to that. I totally agree. I totally agree that it is full-fledged maturity. It's like the second time my parents have said something that I agreed with completely. It's not surprising how um, your parents feel about stuff and how you feel about stuff I tend to match up pretty well, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. But yeah, full-fledged maturity. When I was in my 20s, I don't think I really felt adulthood kick in until I was 22. I was a bit of, I was a, bit of a brat at 21, a huge brat at 21. Um, but come 20, 20, when, when I turned 22, I realized, you know what? It's time to get my life together to some effect. Can't be a teenager anymore. I could still have fun, but I can't be a teenager about things anymore. I have to start making those adult decisions and start making them soon. When I turned 30, I moved in here. One of the biggest changes of my life. I cried a little then. Because um, I wasn't, I couldn't believe this was happening, you know. I actually got to move out of my parents' house. You know, it's not easy. People think it's impossible. Some folks just can't do it. Some folks have to move back. And by the grace of God, I haven't had been able to, I hadn't had to move back yet. So... I don't think I want to either, but I love my parents, and I think they love me too. But I think they both agree, and I agree that I've got to get my life together. And thankfully, I've been getting my life together here. So that was beautiful. So 40. 40 years old. You say happiness begins at 40. It was a joke I'm reading. Not a joke, but... Um, I remember the first time I heard that Happiness Begins at 40 was on Sesame Street. It was a game show created by none other than Guy Smiley. And the family that was on it was crying their eyes out, unhappy. So there's a countdown clock. They would count every number until they got to 40. So that's how we learned how to count to 40. <laughs> uh, Jim Henson's a clever son of a gun. Rest in peace. Um, yeah. So, happiness begins at 40. Once they hit 40, they started laughing and cheering and being happy. And um, 
And then her mom saw that and she said, oh, that's a line that they use. That's been used for years. She's been around for a minute and changed, so she would know like a, a commonality, like it was a mindset that was created. If I'm whispering now, it's because it's five in the morning and I don't want to wake up my neighbors. Although, you know, pretty shit. Sorry about the yawn. It's five in the morning. Don't want to wake up my neighbors. I'm not here to edit anything. This isn't professionally done. I'm not here to be professional about it. I'm just here to get my thoughts and ideas out in their rawest form onto video so I can record it and say this is what I thought initially and generally about Bordy. Maybe it'll change over time. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Point is, raw form, raw ideas. Here we go. Um, so happiness begins at 40. Do I buy into that? Is it just a, a line for me? Is it just a joke? Truth is, I'm buying into it. Because the true happiness that I want to attest to when I turn 40 um, starts and stems from letting go and surrendering a bunch of things I no longer need. There's an interesting line or interesting verse in the Bible. When I was young, I thought as a child, I spake as a child, I acted as a child, but when I grew into a man, I put aside childish things. It's not so much, to me, my interpretation, it's not so much putting aside things that child children do. It's putting aside things that a child would spend endless amounts of energy on that aren't, that don't suit you now as an adult. What doesn't suit me now as an adult? Number one, drama. Listen, I love my friends, I love my family, but if you're coming at me with drama of any kind that you want me to get roped into that I don't want to be part of, you're on your own, sunshine. I don't, I'm not Dr. Phil, I'm not Oprah, I'm not here to help you with your drama, so don't rope me into it, okay? Don't ask me to take sides. Don't ask me to do any of that stuff. I'll be there to listen, to give it a sympathetic ear, and to give you the best advice I can give you. But I don't want drama. Okay, I've seen enough on television, social media, everywhere else where people just drag people in and it sucks the energy out of you. And now you're stuck in the middle of this psychodrama as if it's a bad soap opera and you can't change the channel. No rules are ever going to get canceled. Uh-uh. No drama. None whatsoever. I'll give you a prime example of it. My, I had an ex-girlfriend, my most recent ex-girlfriend, back in 2017, 2018. Yes, I've been single for four straight years. I'll get into that later. But, um, yeah, my most recent ex-girlfriend, all she was was drama. She reveled in drama. Whether it was on her phone, whether it was watching... Tab leaving the tabloids, watching reality television. All she wanted to do is watch people react, and poorly, by the way. And the only reason she did is because she wasn't happy with the life that was in front of her. It was a mess, a whole mess. Now, I'm not here to talk about what happened, but I just know that's one of the things she did. And sure as shooting, she wanted me involved in that stuff. And I'm like, no. I'm looking back, I'm like, no. That's not how relationships work. Don't drag me into this shit. I'm 40 years old now, and I don't want any more of that shit. I'm, I don't care if I'm swearing. I'm saying it like that straight up. So if you want drama, go somewhere else. Not getting it from me. As far as social media is concerned, number two. When it comes to social media, I am Switzerland. What does it mean when I say I'm Switzerland? My social media, I'm, I mean, I'm on YouTube. I'm on... Facebook, I know that. I'm not going to go on Twitter. It's a damn cesspool. I'm not going to go on Instagram. I don't believe in having to re-upload all my pictures just so I can show it on the gram so people can watch it. No, I'm an old school type of guy. If you say upload pictures to this spot, I'll upload pictures to this spot. I'm not re-showing you a bunch of pictures. It's ridiculous. Okay? I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. The way it was done back when you had Mi Gente in MySpace. Insert picture or whatever picture, pick up the picture, they'll scan it for you, it's there, boom. I'm not gonna use my phone to scan, no, please, no. Um, yeah, but basically when it comes to social media, I'm Switzerland. You are not gonna come onto my social media 
and post a bunch of comments to start a stinking fight. Not with me and not with others. If it happens, the post gets deleted. No fans or butts about it. My house, my social media, Switzerland. I am a firm believer. I'm a firm believer that social media is just a window to my home. If someone's screaming in my home, I close the damn window. Tell them to shut the fuck up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I didn't... I paid for this house. I don't pay for social media, but it's my media. So, yeah. If you're going to do that, do it on someone else's channel. Do it on someone else's spot. Do not do it on mine. I don't care. I don't care what the issue is. I don't care what the problem is. Take that somewhere else. If you don't like it, hey, you don't have to offend me. You can do the you you can do what I do, unfriend, unfollow, or block. That's how I get by on social media, on YouTube, on Facebook. I unfriend, I unfollow, I block, because I don't need that in my life anymore. I want to live and let live and take it easy. Okay, everyone has a race to run, and they have every right to run that race. I'm not a race runner. I'm on the sidelines giving you water. I'm on the sidelines giving you a nice little BLT sandwich. Getting you some coffee. Talking about it. Not running that race with you. On the periphery. I'd rather stay on the periphery and watch the world go by than try to take a part in changing it. I'd rather be Owatu the Watcher than Doctor Strange. I know. It seems like a cop-out. But if it's a cop-out, then I'm a cop-out artist. It means I'm a bad sort of person, bad this, bad that. I'm a bad sort of person. I don't care. I'm at the point now where I just don't care. That's number three. The best part about turning 40 for me is that your opinion of me does not matter. I could give, pardon my French, a rat's ass about how you think of me. I'm 40 years old. Technically, I'm divorced by the state of New York. My marriage was annulled. That was in 2015 and 2016. <clears throat> I attend therapy. I take medication. Some of you might think I'm a weakling because I do any of that stuff or a screw up or whatever. Too fucking bad. I don't care. This is me. How I like to be. Take it or leave it. It's not just a nice little song from Jim and the holograms. It's for real. Okay? Your opinion about me means nothing. Unless your criticism is constructive, take a walk. I'm not here to hear, I don't need two cents from you. The city of New York pays me more than two cents to live my life. I don't need two copper coins from you to try and get by. Trust me, nobody takes pennies anymore. They take silver stuff. And quite frankly, your stuff should be saved for you, not for me. So... Take that opinion stuff out the door. I don't care. And I know some folks are going to look at that as a means to try and um, post their opinion about me and try to get under my skin. Well, con con congratulations, you do that. If that makes you feel good. It may make you a jerk, but whatever. Point is, I don't care. And it just goes back to rule number two. If you're still that's what you're going to do, it's gonna, don't be surprised if I unfollow, unfriend, or block you, or just delete. I don't care. I do not care. You can spend your life debating and fighting and dragging people in the mud for whatever reason because you're that type of person. I'm not that type of person. I don't do that stuff. Makes me unfun. I was never meant to be fun. I'm not fun. I'm me. If it makes me uncool, I was never cool. I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. I'm me. If I were cool, I'd be married right now, not living in a studio apartment, making thousands of dollars doing whatever the hell it is I'm supposed to be doing. But I'm not. Now am I? And that's not exactly a, a mindset. It's more or less like a stereotype everyone comes up with. The cooler you are, the more this comes to you. And the truth is, some people buy into that, and everyone buys into that to the point where they just throw money at you or whatever. The point is, no. No. That ain't me. So, yeah. So, those are three things so far. Is there a fourth? Yeah, there's a fourth. As of right now, as of 40, I'm getting, there's a lot of things personally that no longer suit me and I'm going to be getting rid of. I don't want to get into too many details because it's not really necessary. 
especially since a lot, a lot of it's going to be opened up to debate. So, yeah, some things that I used to like, I'm no longer going to like anymore. So if it surprises you that I don't like a certain thing anymore when I tell you, it's probably because I got rid of it already. Doesn't suit me. Not a fan of it. Don't care. Don't really want to care. Not really going to care any longer. Too old for that shit. One of those things just so happens to be dating actively. I've spent nine years, nope, correction, I spent 13 years connected to dating websites and dating apps. All the way back in 2009, a friend of mine, a coworker of mine said, why don't you just use these new dating apps or these, this new dating website? Because you're single now and you need to find somebody. That was back 13 years ago, so I was like 27. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh boy, what a history I have there. My whole history along those lines could be found in my dating journal, which I have with me, which I'm not going to share with you. It's a journal, come on. We're off. Uh, but yeah, I dabbled with that, and the results were as follows got married, ended in a year. Got into a long-term relationship, ended in more than a year. Found a bunch of people that ghosted me, weren't interested in me, or I chased them off, or whatever the case may be. And uh, a lot of frustration, so much so that it rocked the apple cart of my soul. That'd be very cynical, too cynical for my own good. So. I'm going to take the one bit of advice that everybody seems to give me that I never follow, which is just live your life and it'll come to you eventually. Okay, I'll do that. I will live my life and it will come to me eventually. None of that other stuff. Not for the rest of the year, not for the foreseeable future. So if anybody tells me any possible ideas as to how I could possibly find someone, no, not hearing it. I don't care about this app. Or that website, that dating service, that speed dating, that meetup. Nah, there's not enough time or money I want to spend on that stuff to get involved in it ever again. I'm going to do what everyone tells me to do and just live my life. And if it happens, it happens. I'm going to do what I want to do. And if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm being real, not hopeful. Realistically, it may never come. I've tried being hopeful before. It's... <laughs> nice but it's also very built it's very harrowing because there's nothing to quantify it <laughs> but uh, you know I know the world's changing I know that a lot of things are changing and I know people's tastes are changing one way or another and I also know a lot of individuals who are available aren't available anymore that's me being real understanding that's how life is working because of such, I, I, there's no real surprise that people might not be available anymore, you know? So, it's what it is. I'm well, I'm well aware of that. So, I'm just going to do me. See what happens. If nothing happens, then nothing happens. I just don't want to be pressured into it anymore. I'd rather let it happen to me now than put myself out there any longer, spend all this exorbitant amount of money and time on things that just don't want or work to the effect that I'd like it to. I also understand that when it comes to my standards of what I want, I am super rigid now. I'm not going to get into what I want. Shoot, if I could, I'd make a questionnaire out of it. The point is, I know what I want. And I'm not going to compromise what I want in order to not be single. Mm -mm. That's me settling. And settling is spiritual suicide. My forebears might have done it. Our forebears might have done it. But I'm not my forebears. I'm not going to go down that road ever again. Or in general. So. Yeah. So that's the stuff I'm quitting. What about going forward at 40? I'm very close to hitting my key weight, the weight I'm supposed to hit. But for me to get there without any setbacks, I gotta push. So, for the next, 
at this point in time, I'm really going to be focusing on doing the things that I've wanted to do for me. Take all that energy I spent on other things and put it into the things I want to do. I've got another picture I want to draw. Another, not just a picture that I drew, but one of the many project pictures I do, like when I draw something that I uh, see. You're going to see that. You've seen a lot of it on my Artsy Monday stuff. You're going to see another one coming soon. I can't believe I can't, haven't even gotten to this. I figured, why not just get to this now? Um, so that's going to start. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of songs I want to play, guitar-wise. I got back into guitar for the first time ever as a, as a uh, favor to a friend of mine. It didn't pan out, but um, my fingers are restless. And um, I've got to get another song into me soon. Video game development's looking pretty possible. Now is a better time than most to get started. Um, Voice over. That's little microphone here. Um, I have the skills. I can make the time. I can put forth and really do what I gotta do to make myself a decent voice actor. And uh, <laughs> I think it's time I get started on that full time or part time. That wouldn't be, that'd be pretty fair. There's also martial arts. I'm really into the crossroads to what I want to learn. Anything from the basic stuff to some advanced stuff. But I'll get there. Got something there, too. To cap it off, it's a nice little 20-minute thing going on here. To cap things off, I want to say happy 40th to me. I want to say thank you to everybody who's wished me happy 40th, who's made my 40th special before the day and possibly after the day. You guys are great. I love you guys. It's a hell of a milestone. There's a lot of key milestone years coming up, or in general when it comes to life. Your first birthday, when you turn two, the terrible twos, when you turn three, the threatening threes, when you turn 10, your first double digit year, your teenage year starts at 13, you have sweet 16, the quinceaneras at 15, there's 18 when you're an adult and you're out the door, 21 when you're an adult, you're out the door and you're gonna start being able to do a lot of adult things. When you're 25, the year where you're completely independent at that point and um, yeah, at this point, you can't rely, you can't fall back on certain things anymore because they don't have to claim you. 30, 30 years on the planet, meaning your 20s are over, so now you're getting to be a little more responsible as an adult and you gotta get your life together. And there's 40, you're a grown ass adult. Stop messing around. If you're 40 and you're still doing that stuff, congratulations. You're playing yourself. There's 50, which is the golden number. 50 years, half a, half a century. Impressive. Um, 75, which is the retirement year, according to some folks. It's also the year that's three quarters of a century. And then, of course, I think there's the big one zero zero, the century alive. <laughs> something, huh? Well, I'm happy I had this milestone. I'm happy to have survived to this milestone, got to this milestone, and um, I'm looking to make the best of it and the most of it. So, with that said, you'll see this soon. I may just end up hitting this to social media, but who cares? I do. Happy 40th to me. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all when I'll see y'all.